Hey, yo, did the shorts cover? No. Fuck we talking about? My, my bad. Did the shorts close? Anyways, they on their way, though. <laughs> so, um, just want to get my thoughts on what I'm seeing and how I'm feeling about it. Um, so, here's my thoughts on everything again, okay? Um, <clears throat> if you've probably been looking on YouTube right now, you see a lot of the AMC uh, shareholders that's holding, or at least some of them, um, you know, they're not liking the reverse stock split situation. Uh, so I've heard their reasons and here are their reasons. The reasons why they don't want a reverse stock split is because number one, the, the number one main reason is that they don't want less shares. That's the main thing that I'm hearing from everybody, not just one or two people. This is not just even YouTube. This is Facebook. This is Twitter. This is everything. Okay. So everybody is saying different things about what, and the main thing is they don't want less shares. Okay. Second thing they're saying is, okay, you know, if we do this, they're just going to keep shorting it, keep shorting it. Now, here's, here's what I want to suggest to all of you, or ask, if you will, all right? That's saying no. I ain't saying you ain't got to say yes. I don't, we're all going to find out what happens, and that's what it will be. My thoughts or question, if you will, right? When we don't do anything, right? If we do, if we all say no, what are we going to depend on at that point? Because keep in mind of this, okay? Yes, you'll have less shares. Yep, that's understandable. It's going to suck. Yeah. We understand that. However, think of this analogy like this, okay? Would you rather have a thousand Hondas or 10 Lambos? Look at it like that. How would you, what, what would you want? Would you want the thousand Hondas? Now, mind you, Honda's not a bad car. It's just a different brand of car. But obviously, the more exotic car is the Lambo, right? Would you would you rather take ten Lambos or or a thousand Hondas, right? Or I'm sorry, not a thousand. Is it a hundred? I'm sorry, a hundred, a hundred Hondas or ten Lambos. Put it like that. So think about that before you say, nah. Right, because especially when it comes to the shares, okay. Honestly, I feel like the shares are going to be way more valuable once they go. And the reason why is because not only has this happened before when it, it when it came to a company fighting back, but I see the same thing that's about to happen to this company. Okay, that they're about to have a huge bounce back. And it's going to shock everybody that, holy shit, they fucking said yes to everything. And it's going to make them cover, like, probably before the end of the year. Like, they're going to have to start tightening the fuck up. Like, I'm trying to keep a G with y'all, let y'all understand. And I understand y'all, especially the ones that's saying no, I understand the frustration of not only having less shares, but possibility of, hey, man, they can just keep shorting, keep shorting. Remember this. Okay, remember what I'm telling you. A group, uh, a company, you probably know this company, Citigroup, they did the same thing in 2008. Did you know that? Citigroup was also dealing with situations like AMC, okay? Citigroup did a reverse stock split. In 2011, yeah, 2011, they did a reverse stock split. 
it took their stock from uh, four dollars or six dollars. It took it from six dollars all the way to like sixty-two or whatever. Whatever you know got them to fuck up there instantly. So yes, other companies have tried and failed, but see, that's because those companies were in desperation mode of you know trying to stay afloat and. They really, really did not have great fundamentals. So this is why you already know that AMC, you know, we're doing the best we can. We got some great fundamentals. We got some good stuff. And just, you know, we're, you know, we got to make more money, right? We got to care about the fundamentals. You know, I was one of the first people that was, you know, a little, in, you know, coming in this play. I was like, man, I'm in this play just to make some money, bro. Fuck, this, fuck, fuck, fuck the fundamentals, bro. It don't matter, bro. But now that I look at everything in its entirety, okay, understood. Mission accomplished, you know, mission accepted. Like, you know, so another thing, and I got to say this, and I'm going to say this, and whether this person, you know, agrees with me or not, or wants to beef with me or block me or whatever, it is what it is. And I'm just tired of seeing the fuckery that I'm seeing, and I'm seeing it like spread across the fucking the community. I see that the community is real split on this and they're like hating each other and fighting each other and doing this and that. Okay, listen. What I see, okay, and it's my opinion, you may not like it, may not agree with it. My opinion is that I feel like Marine, dude, you and your emotions, like I said, I get it. You have questions. You you got a right to ask questions, but some of your I would I mean it's great, and I get it. You you got a right to ask your questions, but at the same time, bro, like you're not doing the due diligence. You're you're only focusing on the CEO. Like if you understood what this man is trying to do, like everybody else understood what this man is trying to do, you would be a hundred percent convicted and. Crushing the shorts, which is what we all been saying for two years, right? We want to crush the shorts. This is our time to crush the shorts. I think instead of focusing on the CEO, I get it. You want to focus on him? He done. He got a bad. He made money. It's my money. I get it. Yada yada yada. You don't want to be a long term investor. If you don't want to be a long term investor or in an, an actual investor in this, then just don't do it. You feel me? Why try to convince other people who are long term investors? To distrust the CEO. First of all, number one, I'm in, my money in it too. Okay, let's talk about the other side. My money in this too. Number two, I want the CEO where my money is. Is okay. I want him to do good. No matter if he, you know, he ain't no asshole. He may not be, you know, as what the way that we want, but he ain't no goddamn asshole. You feel me? So, you know, my mind is like, you know. You should want him to succeed. Why? Because that's how you're going to make your money. You want your CEO to succeed because you want your, you want that business to be popping. You want him to close other theaters that ain't doing shit and make you money in other places. You want that. In my opinion, not financial advice, just me and my thoughts. Uh, so when you see people and... and, and and, and Frankie, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stop you for a second. I love you, but I gotta stop you for a second. Ain't nobody kissing Adam Aaron's ass. No one is kissing his ass. Okay, what you're seeing. Okay, I want to. Maybe, maybe I should explain what you're seeing. Okay, what you're seeing is other investors that have the same thoughts to praise not not to praise their CEO, so that way the CEO not only communicates with us. But keeps us in the loop. Okay? This ain't, he not some, you feel me? Some, I mean, I get it. You know, he may not be answering enough for everybody. But remember, this is a strange situation. Shorts are fucked on AMC. And we knew that. So what did Adam Aaron do? He just said, you know what? Let's create some money and create Ape. Right? He created Ape. Okay? Shorts went to hammering down on that 43 million FTDs in one day. So guess what happens when we all say yes, like flow a tree. You need to let it flow this time. Flow a tree. Boom. 
Now, I know some of us is like, man, I worked hard for, you know, worked hard for my shares and, you know, I shouldn't have to do this or do that to make this. But like I said, you worked hard for those 400 Hondas or those 100 Hondas, right? You worked hard for those 100 Hondas. But wouldn't you rather actually get rid of those 100 Hondas and get 10 Lambos? Each of like that are million dollar cars. Wouldn't you want that? I want that. Now, mind you, I ain't saying that's what a share price going to be, but it's just an analogy. It's just basically saying, yeah, you got thousands of shares, but a bunch of them bitches is like three to four dollars right now. Now, if you, you know, what I'm saying do a reverse stock split and make this bitch go up, I don't know, 60, 70 dollars. We at the fucking peak. And, and once it's past 72, we're in the no, no touch touch zone like the like the scammer from New York say. So. You feel what I'm saying? Like, in my opinion, I feel like this is a good thing. A lot of the, like, like, like I'm going to say again, and I'm saying it on YouTube, a lot of the data scientists are in Zen mode. They are in Zen mode. They are letting everyone know on Twitter they are in Zen mode. The data scientists, that's right, the nerds, the, the keyboard uh, fucking janitors, this, they're in fucking zen mode. And one thing I know about surviving in the street is if the nerds is in zen mode, bitch, I'm in zen mode, okay? I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Let the nerds be in zen mode, man. Because, damn it, I'm all about that. That's how we all got in this play, right? So we all in this play, right? We didn't know nothing about nothing. Some of us, remember, some of us did not even know about stocks, Okay? Some of us did not know about stocks, and we got in this play, right? So that's what I'm saying. You're in a play, right, that's going to require some due diligence. And yes, some of you know how to do stocks. You've been doing it for 30, 40 years, but I don't know, bruh. I don't know, bruh. I'm looking at that reverse stock split like, man, look, I don't even get like... <clears throat> It's obvious they're going to keep shorting even after we don't do nothing. They're going to short it all the way to the ground. What, what are you going to like? You're literally four dollars away from complete bankruptcy. And in my mind, I'm thinking like. In my mind, I'm thinking like an investor. OK, how can we fix this shit? I get it. Naked shorting, you know, everybody's saying, OK, now what what will it do? What will it cause? What will it fix? What will it what will it address? All we gonna get is some motherfuckers that be like, oh, let me bullshit you some more. Let me let me bullshit you some more. I don't want the bullshit. You feel me? We have to figure out how to dance in the motherfucking fucking bed of nails. Okay? That's what we're doing. And that's what that's what Adam Aaron is doing. But see, like I said, some of y'all, okay. I don't think you're following the right individuals. I think at, I think you're all, uh, some of you are, and I ain't talking about the ones that's making videos. I'm talking about uh, people on Twitter, people on Facebook. Like, they're being harassed and hounded by bots, bro. Still, bots. The only people, like, and I'm going to just be honest, the only people I see that's saying no are, like, complete fucking faceless bots. And the, and the people I see saying no on, on YouTube... And I agree, and, and I understand your position, okay? I get it. I understand how you feel, and if you want to do that, that's on you, okay? That's how you feel. I'm not here to tell you whether you want, you can vote yes or vote no. Me, personally, I'm voting yes because I want to see that motherfucking crumble. I want to see that Jenga tower fall, like on the big short. I want to see that bitch fall. That's what I want, and that's what's going to happen, all right? So... With that being said, I'm, a, I'm a, like I said again, Marine. Like I said, I appreciate you and your thoughts and and your opinions, but I see everybody kind of swaying on that and also getting nervous, like you are. I, I in my mind, I think you're a ner I think you're too nervous for this, man. I think probably should. I mean, you you could do what you want to do, bro. I don't. You can drop your videos. But I really think you're causing a lot of confusion in the community, a lot of worriness and fear. And one thing I know about a Marine is that they're fearless. 
So, with that being said, did the shorts close? They will if you say yes, motherfuckers.